Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Be in the Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what's happening in the front yard um, before I go pick up Madison from a sleepover. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn you around and let you see what's going on. Alright, so I'm going to start here with my uh, succulent <laughs> wheelbarrow. Um, lots of aloes that are doing good and lots of succulents. Oh, and look, a spider. Hi, little spider. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It won't focus. Well, anyways, there's a spider in there. Hi, spider. So, uh, succulents, I've grown up with my whole life. Um, just to let you guys know that I was born in the on the central coast, a small town on the central coast of California. And so there's tons of succulents over on the coast and I was brought up, my grandma um, had a big jade and uh, I have a jade on my porch too, but my grandma had a big jade on her porch while I was growing up. Uh, I grew up with my grandparents and my mom um, and it was great. And then we moved to uh, the Central Valley when I was about four three or four, somewhere around there. Anyways, here is my pineapple that, you know, I just cut off the top and planted it and it's doing really good. Here is my turmeric. And if you look in here, there's a new tiny little turmeric starting to grow. So that's really exciting. I'm excited that this is going so well. It's been so hot, but I guess turmeric likes hot and I've been trying to make sure it's watered and kept wet so it would grow. Over here we have the bay. This one died, but all the babies are growing still. Holy basil. My geraniums are doing good. That's another thing that reminds me of my grandma and of the coast is geraniums. <laughs> Over here is some sage and there's a tomato hiding out in here too. Here is what <laughs> my parsley that's trying to keep growing. Another succulent, another tomato, um, here is my peppermint, another tomato, another big aloe that I actually need. I think I'm going to plant this one in the back where my cactuses are. And this is my elephant plant, my ginger, which I'm super excited about. It's doing really good. New shoots are coming up right here and right here. So. That's exciting. Hopefully in October and in November, we have a pretty long growing season here. Our first frost isn't until I think December 1st. So I think I should be fairly successful at this, hopefully, <laughs> God willing. Uh, here's my thyme and some basil. Here are my garlic chives and they're actually starting to flower, which is fun. It doesn't want to focus. I'm also trying to propagate some more aloes so that I can maybe start doing a Saturday, um, you know, like pop-up type thing where I sell them. So here's my jade, like I was talking about before. And then this one right here, I got the last time I was at the coast with my friend, my best friend, and it's really fuzzy. It was really weird. <laughs> I've never seen a succulent like that. Blueberry's doing good. That's going to be moved to the back as soon as it cools down. And another thing that reminds me of my grandma, roses. I've been trying to prune them back, get all the dead stuff off. It's been really hot. And just trying to keep them alive. Here's my rosemary, doing good. And the citronella is still alive. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for checking out the front yard with me today. And um, just have a great weekend. Happy Saturday. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, like and subscribe, please. <laughs>